Peekaboo! Hello everybody, it's Paulus Ranger here today. We're going to be talking about the six children and nothing but the children. A little bit of the purple guy, but I've done a lot of videos about that. That's some I managed to clean up in a previous one. Now yes, I know I haven't been doing much Five Nights at Freddy's, but I'll explain that in a later video. First things first, the children. As we know, there are six children. Each of them representing the animatronics and one as the puppet. The minigames pull a key point of the story. We know that the children were murdered. They been through hell. The marionette was the first victim and won in revenge of the purple guy. He wanted him dead or killed and stuffed like the rest. Or maybe he originally wanted him dead, but when he noticed the first child who was killed, or the second one, which possibly could be the Golden Freddy child, who's half human, let's say half spirit, half entity, which he can fade in and out. That explains in the second game, and the first one had become he can appear out of nowhere, ignoring the laws of gravity, the laws of physics, which explains, and doesn't want to rest, he doesn't want to die. He doesn't want to move on. He just wants to carry on living. Why the others, they want revenge and they want to move on. They want to break free from this curse, this torment of what they've been put through. They try so hard in the other piece of rears that they failed miserably as the purple guy succeeded of staying alive for so long that to a point he was cornered up he put on the spring cap trap costume he was repairing, and then he the spring ox activated, and he died, and the children were free. Maybe this mini game, when the security guard succeeds in the mini games, and then when he succeeds of getting out and finishing the job, and it burns down. Probably in another type of universe, or maybe dimensional world, the minigame starts. And then, the children go up to the Golden Freddy child, hand her the cake. It's like you have five minutes of enjoying fun before you pass on to heaven or whatever you believe in, really. Then once they have their fun and had their cake, Portal 2 reference. Then the masks fall, the children disappear, the balloons as their souls lift them up out of the building and into the clouds. To me, this is a peaceful kind of end for the children. They're finally free. But what are their parents? We don't know of much. We know the kids are at rest. The purple guy is still alive. Now, I can easily tell that some minigames do reference to death. How did purple guy manage to keep the children's souls, or how did the souls of the children manage to get in the animatronic suits? How become the grim reaper hasn't reaped their souls? In more or less, unless, if you know this thing, it's pretty simple. You have spirits, but what collects spirits and sends them to heaven, hell, whatever? In some beliefs, it's usually by certain gods or whatever, really. In some beliefs, it's reincarnation. But maybe, this could be, yet again, Scots Christian, so this could be in more of a Christian standpoint. Maybe the Grim Reaper couldn't reap their souls. Because they seek revenge on the purple guy. To death, he knows that the purple guy is hard to kill. So, maybe death strikes a deal with him. He tells the kids to kill the purple guy or stuff him into the suit. They succeeded. They lift up. They'll probably run into death. Out of the gates of limbo, they see him. 
and he takes them to heaven why he comes back to deal with the purple guy maybe in the next game we could be end up re representing death I know it's a bit far-fetched and where's the evidence to prove that but this is more of common sense if you don't know what the Green Reaper is, the Green Reapers are Lord of the Underworld and, and the Lord of Time. He reaps souls, takes the bad ones and the good ones to heaven or hell. Maybe he couldn't do it with the kids. Maybe the kids' energy force or the hatred they had for him. And Death decided to let them set themselves free. And once they did, he reaped them and took them to heaven but with that really that said it's a happy ending for the children I would laugh if Scott, Scott did put in the Grim Reaper we see a mini game of death himself reaping the purple guy and taking him to hell that's something that would be pretty cool with that said what do you think guys do you think this could be a reset representation of heaven peace murders and also death put a comment down below and thank you for watching i know it's a bit of a different video be it again though i'm trying to come up with my own ideas but with that really said thank you